YouTube, what's going on here? It's Jamar again, Vegas Sense. And uh, I'm doing another video outside here today. Um, just wanna kind of switch things up a little bit. So I know it's been a little while since I made my last video. Um, just been doing a lot here lately. Um, I got a PC build that I'm doing, so I'm almost done with that. Um, as soon as I get done with that, I'll definitely be you know, buying more fragrances and doing more videos. Um, but pretty much all my money has been going towards that here recently. So that's why I haven't really been recording. So <clears throat> what I will go ahead and do is I'll do a video real quick on uh, just the top 10 fragrances that I plan on wearing this summer. Um, and you know, a lot of these fragrances you all have already seen, I've already done uh, like review videos on them. Um, but this is just gonna be like my little top 10 fragrance rotation for this summer. So it's not in any sort of order from like best to worst or whatever. Um, this is just pretty much, you know, what I intend on wearing this summer. All right, so I'm gonna start off with, um, you know, definitely one of my fra favorite fragrances from last year. And that one was uh, Rasasi Hawass. You know, again, this one smells just like Invictus Aqua 2016. Um, except, you know, it just has a little bit more like spice to it uh, as it has a cinnamon note in it and it's not as salty, it's just a tad bit sweeter. Um, I, I think I actually prefer this fragrance though over the Invictus Aqua. Um, the longevity on this one, it lasts forever. It loves the heat, um, especially out here. Like I said, I wore this last year one day when I was out with my cousin on this trip and we were outside a, a lot of the time and uh this lasted all day um so you know nothing but great things to say about this one so this one is again Rasasi Hawass <clears throat> the next fragrance is going to be Nautical Voyage I mean you all already know about this one you know this one is a nice fresh uh like a I, I believe it has a cucumber note in it but that's pretty much what it smells like you know up top um really fresh lasts a long time projects pretty well um, and it's super cheap. I want to say this is probably the cheapest fragrance that I own. Paid maybe a, like 11 or $12 for it, something like that. Um, and this is a tester bottle that I have. But again, Nautical Voyage, you really can't go wrong with this one. Everybody loves it. Um, and it, it performs really nicely. All right. Next one is going to be one of my more newer fragrances. So this one is from Alexandria Fragrances, Deep Blue. Um, it's their interpretation of uh, Aqua Celestia by uh, MFK. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff is like, I don't know, like I said in my review, it kind of gives me like a, a cooling effect when I spray this on. You know, it's really cool, kind of, you know, dark and blue. Um, and, you know, I guess it comes from the, the mint that they have uh, and the note breakdown for this particular fragrance. So. Um, this one is also another beast mode fragrance that lasts all day. You know, it projects really well and for a long time as well. I would say at least about, you know, two and a half, three hours. So again, this one is Deep Blue, Alexandria Fragrances. <laughs> another Alexandria fragrance I have here. Um, this one is Brasilia Privé. So, you know, uh, Brasilia Privé, when it when I first got it, I wasn't too impressed with it. You know, it sort of seemed like whenever I would spray the stuff on, I couldn't really smell it after maybe about an hour. Um, and it didn't really seem like it lasted long on me either. So um, now, I mean, I, if I spray this stuff on, I'm smelling it project for hours. Um, it lasts on me at least over 12 hours for sure. Um, and it's just a really good balanced smell when it comes to like the Aventus, you know, scent DNA. Um, I, I definitely, I prefer this over actual Aventus any day. Um, it smells exactly like it. I really don't detect any real differences. Um, and, you know, obviously it's a lot cheaper. So again, this one is Brasilia Prepay. Next one, Blue Bottle, you all, all know this one, Versace Dylan Blue. Um, this one is definitely one of my favorite uh, Versace fragrances. Um, it, it, it definitely is something that I probably need to wear a lot more. 
Um, as much as I love this fragrance, I don't really reach for it that much. So I'm gonna start trying to reach for this a lot more um, here in the summertime coming up. But it's just a really, really fresh smell. And like I said, I prefer this one over like Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel. And that's pretty much what it gets compared to. This one to me is the best out of all of those. Um, so again, this one is Versace Dylan Blue. Next one, Citroen Del Mar. This is Alexandria Fragrances Interpretation of uh, Cree Millicene Imperial. I definitely plan on getting a full bottle of this. I've been pretty much trying to ration this little sample that I have here because this is really, really good stuff. Um, but yeah, probably within the next month or so, I'm gonna definitely get you know at least a 30 mil bottle of this stuff. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. It, it, I would say the longevity on it is okay. I'll probably get about you know six to seven hours or so out of it um definitely if i stay inside a little bit more i could probably maybe push it like around eight hours or so um but i mean when you first spray this stuff on this stuff smells like absolutely amazing it's got like a really really salty aquatic type smell to it um and women really 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 love this particular scent um you know Again, I'm trying to babysit this sample because I mean, I probably have just a couple mils left in here. Um, but you know, definitely, whether you smell Millicent Imperial or not, or anything like it, I would say this is blind by worthy. So definitely go ahead and pick it up from the Alexandria Fragrances website. Next one is going to be uh, Himalaya Mountain. And so this is another interpretation that Alexandria Fragrances has here. Um, this is their interpretation of uh, Creed's Himalaya. Again, I, I really love Himalaya as well. It's like an aquatic type scent, but just like Deep Blue, it kind of has like that cooling type effect to it. So that's one of the main reasons why I really, really love the scent. Um, it also, it, it lasts pretty long too. I would say it's definitely a, a scent that lasts all day long. Um, and that's always good for like a really fresh scent like that. Um, projection on it, I would say it's about two, two and a half hours or so. And then after that kind of tones down, but you definitely still get whiffs of it throughout the day. All right, so that one is Himalayan Mountain. Here we have Zion. I mean, I really don't run into too many people that don't like this particular scent. Um, you know, again, this is from Alexandria Fragrances as well. It's their interpretation of uh, Rosia, Rosia Elysium. Um, and man, this stuff, you can spray this on and you really don't realize how strong it is until I would say you've taken whatever clothes that you sprayed it on, you've taken them off and then you come back to it like a couple days later and you still smell how strong this still is. Like, this stuff is really amazing stuff for such a fresh scent. Um, from what I understand, you know, the, the original Roja Elysium doesn't really last that long. It's pretty much gone after maybe about five or six hours or so. Um, this is definitely, you know, this stuff lasts forever. Like I said, especially if you spray it on clothes. Um, and it definitely projects pretty good for at least about three hours or so. So again, you know, for a fresh scent, it's amazing. All right, then now we have Central Obsessions Silver Mountain Water. Obviously, this is their interpretation of Creed Silver Mountain Water. Um, in my opinion, this is the best interpretation of Silver Mountain Water that I've smelled. Um, I've smelled this, I've smelled Alexandria's version, I've smelled Armas version. This one is definitely the smoothest version that I've smelled. It lasts really good, it projects really well. Um, and it's just just the overall smell. I really really love it. It really captures like the uh, the green tea scent that you get from Silver Mountain Water. All right, so definitely go and check this one out for sure. And then the last one here is going to be Versace Pour Homme. Um, this one is just a classic amongst anybody that you know is in the fragrance game and that likes fragrances. This one is like a really citrusy fresh scent um you know just the only thing with this one is it just doesn't last that long that's the only problem with this scent um if this scent performed like 
Nautical Voyage did, where you know it pretty much lasted all day long. I think this one would probably be like one of the best scents ever. And even still with the longevity problems, a lot of people still have this in like probably their top five scents ever or scents that they would keep for life. Um, it's always gonna be in my collection. Uh, like I said, I just hate scents that don't really last that long because I, I don't like reapplying them. Um, but this one for sure in the hot weather, this one is a must, all right? Versace Pour Homme. So that's gonna be my list. Uh, like I said, as soon as I get my computer build done, I'll definitely be back to making videos a lot more consistently and more often. Uh, so just bear with me, y'all. And that's Jamar here, Vegas Sense. I'll see you on the next video.